Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terror Network went into overdrive. The more they move, the more visible they get. Our advantage. I'm not complaining. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Listen to his voice. He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one, synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. No more beautiful than my watcher. But are they icier? Don't answer that. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. What sort of financing are we talking about? Money for weapons, transportation, bribes, anything the cells need. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thull's efforts to claim the throne. But Intelligence does have one asset, Vector Hillis. Vector was an Imperial Ambassador to the Nobles, but he was later... repurposed. Now he's with the Kilix, Alderaan's native alien species. Why are you being cagey, Watcher 2? Apologies. Vector's is an unusual case, and I should explain. When Vector approached the Kilix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. How's that possible? Prolonged exposure to the Kilix induces physiological changes. He shares thoughts, feelings with them, but we don't know much more. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watch her two out. Secure transmission established. This is Watcher 2. Your efforts to destabilize the Terra network are working better than expected, Cypher. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. We attempted to capture the Eagle in a raid on Tholaton. We found a base, but the man had moved on. Is there a trail we can follow? No. I'm still hopeful your efforts will draw him into the open. We've also been researching the so-called Eradicator devices. They're satellites. Orbital strike weapons with enough firepower to level a city. Here's the bizarre thing. The terrorists aren't building the Eradicators, they're growing them. Never figured the Eagle for a gardener. For the record, he's not, according to our profile. The Eradicators are a combination of biological and mechanical components, organic batteries in a weaponized shell. The terrorists don't need factories anymore. They can grow Eradicators wherever there's room. How do we handle all this? We'll continue gathering information. We know what the Eradicators are, but not where or how they'll be used. You have your own mission. Destroy the cells and they'll lead us to the Eagle. Watcher 2 out. Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Link established with Moss Illa Spaceport. Updating encryption protocols. And transmission secure. I assume the flight was uneventful. 
You're the first exciting thing here. Relieve my boredom? You might get more excitement than you like. Tatooine's a desert world. A binary star system, minimal life forms, sparsely populated by farmers and petty criminals. Mos Illa is the sole Imperial outpost. Not normally somewhere we'd expect terrorists to congregate. But these are unusual terrorists. The Ghost Cell. Cute name. Did we come up with it or did they? One of theirs. Not bad for propaganda. Years ago, we heard rumors of a training program for hardened radicals. A terror cell specializing in stealth, infiltration, and assassination. Information now suggests this ghost cell is real. Elite support for the Eagles network. Some lead to bring the cell from rumor to priority one. The attack on Drummond Cars forced us to re-examine our assumptions, accept new possibilities. We're targeting Tatooine on the word of an anonymous source claiming to be a former Ghost Cell member. The source says that stopping the terrorists is a matter of conscience. He wants a face-to-face -face meeting. Don't worry. I can use a delicate touch. Soothe his paranoia and dispose of him when you've eliminated the cell. He's waiting for a call from a holocom terminal in town. Stay on guard. Watch it two out. <laughs> 